In Asheville, a photographer has made a living off capturing the area's beauty. We spent the past few days recording the horrors that cover his city. He shared what he'd seen with Two Wants to Know's Kevin Kennedy. For more than a dozen years, Stephen Pruitt has been telling stories through pictures. On Friday, September 27th, this story was something he'd never seen before. What I was seeing was just, you know, water going over the top of buildings. It wasn't like flooding through, it was like over the tops of buildings, um, even two-story, three-story buildings. Stefan in Asheville, ground zero for this storm. A lot of homes just got just completely destroyed. I mean, they just washed down the creek. So much destruction, so much devastation, parts of towns wiped out. That's like, you know, the end of an era instantly. Like, all these things that you think you're going to be able to see again and do again, is just gone and all, all you got is the memories of those places. The River Arts District in Asheville underwater, buildings and businesses gone, his studio wiped out. I don't think that you process things right away. I think you kind of you repress it just a little bit because you kind of have to get the job done. Nothing can prepare you for something like this. Stefan knows he's fortunate though in many ways. There are many who live here who are still missing or unaccounted for. I'd say there's one person I'm still trying to get a hold of that I'm worried about, but I'm just hoping it's service um, issues. Relief and rescue efforts will take time, lots of time. What was destroyed in hours will take years to rebuild. Stefan confident his city will do just that. We're all creative resilience. You know, and I got, I got no doubt like that people are prepared and it's almost like a muscle that was like built with um, with the pandemic. For a community intertwined with tourism, the pandemic showing them they can survive. This will take time, but together and with help, Asheville and this community won't give up. Kevin Kennedy, two wants to know.